Mike Lang here, Lang Productions. Today I'm going to show you how to program a Behringer X-Touch Mini to work with MIDI as a MIDI controller for vMix with motorized faders and activators and shortcuts and all that good stuff. I've been seeing a lot of questions lately on how to do it, so I'm going to give you a really quick explanation on how to make all this work with vMix, so let's get right into it. Okay, this is what we're going to build. You can see my X-Touch control surface here. This is my X-Touch control surface, and we're going to make the faders, fader 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, control their respective inputs. Um, if you look at my audio screen in vMix, I have fader number 2 controlling input number 2 on the Behringer. I'm going to show you how to build this. So the first thing you're going to do is open up your settings screen in vMix. You're going to open up settings, and I'll, I will show it to you in just a minute. Let me slide this over so you can see it. Click your settings window, and what we're interested in here is activators. So click on activators, and we're going to set up an activator to make the Behringer faders fly. Um, first thing you'll do is click add. Now we're going to click find, so we can find our control just by moving it on the Behringer surface. I'm going to grab the first fader, and you'll notice right away when I touch it, something happens. You're like, but wait, I didn't move the fader. That's very important because there's touch controls on each one of these faders that are separate MIDI control commands. You don't want to assign the activator to the touch because nothing will happen. So when I touch, you can see the note value is 101, right down here, 101. When I don't touch, the value is 101, but it goes to zero. But that's, that means you're not touching it. That still is not the right command for the fader. You want to move the fader, and that note changes to one. So that's what we want. We want MIDI note, channel 1, note 1, and the velocity follows the fader volume. So what I do is, while moving this fader, so it says note 1, I just click OK. And now we've got it. Control change, channel 1, note 1, and now we want to choose the parameters. So we want the event to be input volume, the input to be number 1, because it's channel 1 on the surface, assign it to input number, which will make it follow, we will make that first fader control input one no matter what the input is. The type, I'm gonna say fader, and this will change to volume automatically. You, don't, you can leave this alone, and then click OK, and then click OK again. It's gonna take three or four seconds for the activators to refresh, but once they do, I should be able to grab the mouse here, slide this fader up, and once the activators refresh, my Behringer fader will start to move. And there it goes. It took a few seconds. Once the activators catch up and are all refreshed, it should be near real time. And it is. So I can move that up and down. You can see my vMix volume. I'm using the mouse. Now I'm going to use the surface. And you can watch that go up and down. If you have any questions, leave me a comment down in the comment section below. And I will try to get to as many questions as I can. Uh, I hope this helps. Behringer X-Touch motorized faders uh, on vMix.